In this demonstration, we're going to look at boundaries. A boundary is a network location that contains one or more devices that you want to manage or resources that you want to provide to clients. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to come into administration. Then within administration, we're going to come to hierarchy configuration. Then what we're going to do here is just come to our discovery methods. And under our discovery methods, what we're going to select here is we're going to select our Active Directory Forest Discovery. Now we'll select that, we'll just select properties. And what we've got selected here is we're going to enable Active Directory Forest Discovery, which we're actually discovering Active Directory sites and subnets here. So we'll automatically create Active Directory site boundaries when they are discovered. And we'll automatically create the IP address range boundaries for the subnets as well. And we'll just leave the default of run every week. So this point here, all we're going to do at this point here is we're just going to select OK. Then what we're going to do is we're going to select the boundaries. Now what we can see here is we've now got some boundaries in place. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to create a boundary manually. So to do that, all we do is we just right click and we click create a boundary. And we're going to create this for our VPN users. So what we're going to do is we're going to call this VPN boundary. We're going to base this on an IP subnet, but as you can see, we could do it on an active directory site, IP version 6 prefix, or IP address range. Specify the network as 10.10.3.0, specify the subnet mask, and that's automatically calculated the subnet as well. So at this point here, we'll just select OK. Now what we can see is we've now got our boundary in place. Next thing we'll do is we'll come to boundary groups. We've already got one in place because this is a Microsoft lab environment. So we already have London in place. Now we would have created this prior to the lab. Now what we'll do is just right click and go to the properties. So for the London boundary group, what we should find is we should find that we've got a datum HQ in here. We've got Toronto and we've also got Sydney, which we saw as part of the boundaries. We'll have a look at the references tab. And on the references tab, as we can see here under site assignment, we've got use this boundary group for site assignment. And we've got the assigned site, which is our config manager site, as the datum site. And down at the bottom here, we've got our site system servers as well. And it's the only one I've got is our LON CFG server. We're not going to modify any of this, so we'll just select OK. Just before we select OK, though, we also have a security tab. And this just says who can actually manage this boundary group. So we'll select OK. Now what we want to do here is we want to create a new boundary group. So we'll right click. Now what we'll do is we'll create a boundary group. So we've called this VPN boundary group. And what we're going to do here is select our add button. Now what we're going to do here is we're just going to select our VPN boundary. Once we select this, we'll just select OK. And then what we'll do is we'll just select our references tab. And then our references tab. We are going to use this boundary group for site assignment. We are going to assign it to our site. And then all we do down at the bottom here for our site system servers is we select add. We select our server and we'll select OK. Next thing to do is select OK again. So now what we've done is we create a boundary and we've also created a boundary group. We can also do management through PowerShell as well. So just in my admin console here, all we're going to do is we're just going to come to the little drop down and we're going to connect via Windows PowerShell. So let's just issue a command and get us some information about the discovery method. And to do that, we're just going to issue a get hyphen CM discovery method, space hyphen name, space active directory for us discovery, and we'll hit the enter key. And as you can see, it returns back information relating to the Active Directory Forest Discovery. The next thing we'll do here is we'll just invoke ACM Forest Discovery on our site. So we'll just clear the screen off, just make it a little bit easier to read. And we'll issue the commandlet. And I'm going to run that as invoke hyphen CM Forest Discovery hyphen site code space S01. And we'll hit the enter key. And that's now returned back some information. So all we'll do here is we'll just go back to the console. And on the console here, what we're going to do is in our admin workspace, we're just going to come to our hierarchy configuration. And what we're going to do is we're just going to come down to our directory forests. And below here, we can see that discovery has succeeded. And that's the end of this demonstration of creating boundaries and boundary groups in System Center Config Manager 2012. Thank you.